In the final step, in step 4, you give the map a title, a description and a few keywords and then afterwards you decide whether you want to save it as a public map or as a non-public map. So the first thing you do is you give it a title. I'm going to call this map Germany Test. The second thing you have to do is categorize it. So the continent is Europe and the country or region in this case is obviously Germany. You also give it a description. You just click in the description box. There we go. Save description. And you also add a few keywords. That's basically it. The last thing you have to decide is whether the status of the map is public or non-public. So public would mean that after saving it other people can see it, but of course nobody can delete this map or can make any changes within it. Non-public map would mean that only you, as the author of the map, can see the map and make any changes to it. So most people will decide to make the map public so other people can actually see it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I choose public and then I click save map. After you save the map, there's a little um, note saying your map with the title Germany test was saved successfully. Basically you're done now. And what you can do is now is um, save the map in regard to saving it locally to your hard drive as an image file. You can print it or you can embed it to another website. So I'm going to have a look at the map in the larger version. So I'm clicking on the preview icon right here. And this is the finished and final map. Obviously there's not a whole lot of detail on this one, but your map can look quite different, of course. So right now, all the options that I told you before, you can click here again. Save map, that will be saving it locally to your hard drive as an image file. Print map, just print it out on your printer. Embed map, that lets you add this map to your website. You can also edit the map at any time. You see this little icon up here, it says Edit Map. If you click on it, you're back in the editor. Also remember that all the maps that you've created in your account are always saved within this area right here. It's called My Maps. I'm just going to click on it right now. So here you go. I've created a few maps in the past already. So all the maps that you have created will show up here under My Maps. And then you see a little description, the title of course, and again the three features that are really um, the most important features, I guess, saving it locally, printing it or embedding it.